MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's the big one, Game 7 of the World Series between the Washington Nationals and the Houston Astros. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Danny, everything to play for here as we get ready for Game 7. No doubt. This has really been what you'd call a World Series for the ages. Back and forth, a lot of well-played games, plenty of drama and intrigue. And now it's all come down to this. One game, nine innings for the World Championship. Can't ask for more than that, so sit back and enjoy. Should be a lot of fun. The build-up to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on MLB Network, and we'll have it all for you next. Home side about to take the field. This place is jumping. Here's public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2019 Houston Astros. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He comes into this one with eight RBIs in this series, so he's been a huge difference maker. We'll see if he's able to keep it going and keep carrying his offense on his back in this one. Zach Grinke will be the Game 7 starter here in the World Series in front of his hometown crowd. What do we need to know here, Danny? Zach Grinke, one of the most complete pitchers in the game of baseball. Four pitch mix. I don't think anybody commands the fastball as well as Zach Grinke. Up, down, in and out, he can dot the fastball. Good curveball, good change. Has the slider that he'll throw to both righties and lefties. If Zach Grinke brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And I want to focus on Jose Altuve. Pound for pound, the best player in big league baseball. A gold glove second baseman, he can do it all. Five tools, the ability to turn a double play with the best of them. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And we are set for baseball Leading here this evening. Washington, the shortstop, Trey Turner. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. And we are underway from Houston as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. First pitch, 7 8 One one home. Hard hit ball to short. And that'll get by into left field, so he's on to lead off the inning. That accepted. The white right fielder, number two. Adam. Stepping up to the plate, Adam Eaton. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Turner's on his horse on his way to second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. The 1-1. And it's fouled away. Turner leads off second with nobody out.
Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a 1-2 count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. The first right thing, there, he goes six. down on strikes, and but he beat. really made that guy on the mound Jones. work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Fast ball and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. One out and a runner on second base. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Softly hit here to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And not in time as the run scores. Well, due to the elite speed, some say he's in scoring position even when he's starting from first. And here Showtrack demonstrates why as we see the incredible top speed as he came around to score pretty easily from second. pitch coming here it is and he takes ball one hey I know there's a lot of game left but that is such an important run there in the top of the first try and silence this crowd I can't tell you in postseason play one run feels like three or four the 1 0 and this one's in the dirt and the runner will stay put but the count moves to 2 and 0. Gets him out in front for strike two. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, Dero, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Here's Howie Kendrick. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Oh, 
And there's a swing and a miss by Kendrick as he falls behind now 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for the Nationals. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Nationals on top, one to nothing. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. Max Scherzer gets the ball in hostile territory here for Game 7 of the World Series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Max Scherzer. Hello, Chief. It's Max, and it's not Agent 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid-90s fastball, powerhouse slider, and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. Time for a look at the curly W on D. And the spotlight is going to shine down today for me on Victor Robles. This guy, we've been hearing his name, one of the elite prospects in baseball for multiple years. And now he's getting a chance to put it all on display for the world to see one of the slickest defenders in the game and go gap to gap with these. Now in the box, George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. The 1 0 home is a slider taken for a ball. Count now at two and one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always the play to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. The three one. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here as they're trying to get that run right back here in the first. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with. So he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead, run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. At the plate, Jose Altuve, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. In there for strike one. Springer gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. No doubt about it. One ball and two strikes to count. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. The two two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we that see a lot third. of that pitch in strikeout That's situations the these days. What makes Michael. it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. And he misses with it one and one. The one one home is in there for the second strike. Scherzer has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. Runner at first here, one man out. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. And the slider misses low and away here. It's ball four. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up Batting a lot four. of free passes. And third history repeats itself Alley. as he's already given up two walks right here. Man. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Nope. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. The 1-2. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. And with two away now, it's time that to take our final look this the year at our playoff man. brackets. Well, it team. seems like so long ago Going that we got down. things started in the divisional rounds, but we will officially have our champion by the conclusion of play tonight. Now to the plate, Yuli Gurriel. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here, but he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. He's set. The 0-1. Oh, and he takes this one high. One and one. Two men are on with two men out. Burrell behind a ball and two strikes. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Well, there are two outs, so Don't nothing's field. guaranteed, but Don't when you can 44. load the bases in the home half of the first, you've got to find a way to at least cash in one. If this guy escapes this mess, his confidence is just going to grow as the game goes on. First pitch on its way. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. And there's a missile off the bat, but it's foul. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Now at the plate, as Dribble Cabrera will step in to start things for the, the Nationals. He'll be followed by as Ryan Dribble Zimmerman waiting on deck. Cabrera. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike called. Tough to do much with that one. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. Bregman fields it cleanly. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. The first baseman. Ryan Zimmerman. In now, Ryan Zimmerman. First pitch of the at bat. High and deep to left center field. Going back is the left fielder at the track. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a solo home run here for Ryan Zimmerman. His second home run of the series. And the Nationals move out in front here two to nothing. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues. But when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Batting it. The Here's the catcher, Jan, Jan Gomes, Gomes, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One out, nobody on.
the 1-1 home. It's a fastball that misses. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Now the 2-1 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Reddick has a read on it. Two down. Batting nine. The center fielder, number 16, Victor Robles. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Number 44 has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Nationals on the board on the home run by Ryan Zimmerman. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's 2-0 Washington. Here's Carlos Correa now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, we all know he's going to get strikeouts when he's on the mound. It's the kind of his thing. The key for the offense is to actually make them work for him, so that three pitch see you later isn't going to help very much. Standing in now, Robinson Chirinos. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Robles going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Batting nine, the right fielder, Josh Reddick. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the former gold glover, Josh Reddick. First offering on its way. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. And this is poured in at the letters. Two and one now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and two. Scherzer's ready. Here it is on 2-2. Two and two. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. Two-two. 
Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And starting out the inning, the exciting speedster Trey Turner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Way outside. One and two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. But he can't get it there in time. Turner is aboard after the strikeout. I'm not here to make excuses, but it is cold tonight, and it looks a little damp out there, too. The ball might have just slipped out of his hands on that one. In now is Adam Eaton. A pitch out. The throw. Not in time as he's able to thwart the pitch out. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Turner stands at second with no outs. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. A throw behind the runner at second. Runner's back. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Now the two one. Is a fastball down below the knees. Anthony Rendon is on deck. The three and one pitch. Here's a bouncer foul to the left side, and the count will move ahead now to three and two. No one out with a runner at second. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. This is where a strikeout pitcher has such a big the advantage. Perfect. Runner Number on six. second and no outs. Anthony. It's definitely a strikeout Red situation throw. in order to keep that runner from getting to third with less than two outs. When you can do it, it changes the whole strategy of the inning. Even a ground ball to the right side makes this a lot more dangerous situation. First pitch on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. Ready with the 0 1. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. So a two-run shot to left center, his third home run of this series, and the Nationals have now taken a 4-0 lead.
Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. The left field, number 22. Juan Soto to the plate now. Soto. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs, a ball and a strike. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great? Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. Still only one out in the inning. There's ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first now thing you should do is stop digging. digging. Well, the guy on the Howie. bump obviously hasn't heard Kendrick. that one. Next will be the designated hitter, Howie Kendrick. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. The set and the 1 0 pitch. On a great pitch there, caught him reaching. It's 1 and 1. One, 1 1 pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. The one two. Fouled away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Second baseman. Asdrubal Cabrera. Digging in the switch hitter, Asdrubal Cabrera. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. Strike one to start the at-bat. A runner on first with two away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Here comes another 0-2. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run home run. 
We play two and a half. It's four nothing Washington. Here's George Springer, and he'll lead things off against Max Scherzer. Lots of baseball the left in this field. one as we're still early Go. on, but you don't want to fall too far Springer. behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Whoa. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Astro nope. center fielder ahead with a 2 0 count. In the dirt, it's 3 0 now. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses low and away, ball one. Springer aboard here at first with nobody out. Zero. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. And a possible double play ball here for Cabrera. A tag for one. On to Zimmerman and they get him both. Now back, the designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Ready for another chance? Michael Brantley reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. First pitch of the at-bat. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. Astros are down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. At the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. Leading off for Washington. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. First pitch coming. Here it is. And Grinky gets ahead with the fastball. Nothing in one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So. It'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he the crashes bat. headlong the into the wall. Yon. Go. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means the catcher, Jan Gomes, bats next. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. 
ball one. That's inside. Four hits and no errors so far for the Nationals. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. The center fielder, number 16, Victor. Stepping in, Victor Robles, Robles hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Maddie. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Oh, and won the count. Counts even at one and one to Victor Robles. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. On the screws to shortstop but caught to retire the side. Nationals gone in order but they hold a four to nothing lead. Here's the cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. He was a strikeout victim in his the first try. Yeah, he's got to put Alex. that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Now the one and one pitch is a ball below the zone. Two balls, one strike. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit. Focus on his mechanics and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. Hits this one hard the other way. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. The batter, the first baseman, Yulieski. Gary Hell. So striding forward now, Yuli Guriel. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Too high with the fastball here. It's 1-0. and one and one the count now. The 1-1. One, one is laid off for ball two. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. The 2-1 home. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Here now the 2-2. Mine to the right side. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. 
Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows the of the baseball season. Number Bottom line is this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box now, number 44, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Muriel leads off first with one away. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that is through in the left field, the base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. In now, Carlos Correa. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Oh. Inside and low, two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. No runs, three hits, one error so far for the Astros. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. It looked like he was trying to dial nine, but when you're down by four runs early in the game, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The 2-2 two -two is looked at and the count moves full. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Robinson Chirinos, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And that misses one and one. Two down, runners at first and second. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on. But right here, he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Got him swinging in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. 
Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Game seven rolls on. We're back after this. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. First delivery to him on the way. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. It's up and out of here into the archways. Trey Turner with a solo shot. His first homer here in the series. And the Nationals have made this a 5-0 game. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. The right fielder, number two. Stepping in now, Adam, Adam Eaton. Eaton. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. Ani pops it up. In there, a base hit. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a now jam that sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Anthony Rendon. Here comes the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout. And he's going to make a change here as that's going to be all tonight for Zach Greinke. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Ladies Josh James takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at now first and nobody Astros, out. Number 39. Anthony Rendon will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with a runner at first and nobody out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Eaton on at first, nobody out. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. James. A right hander standing six foot three. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that becomes the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number 22, Juan Soto. Digging in to try it again, Juan Soto. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. I'm set with the 0-1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. One one 
Misses. Ball two. Runners on first with one down. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, designated hitter, Howie Kendrick. So next for the Nationals is the designated hitter, Howie Kendrick. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Inside, and that one. misses ball one. Two and zero oh to the Nationals DH in this one. And oh now. As Dribble Cabrera would be next. The 3 0 pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. The batter number 13, second base. As Dribble ready once again as Dribble Cabrera. No hits to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there, strike one. Two men are on with two men out. Ball one. Ball one. Looking to minimize the damage here. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And Altuve will put the squeeze on this one and that ends the inning. Nationals able to add on thanks to the long ball. Middle of the night at Minute Maid Park. It's the Nationals five and the Astros nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Astros manager A.J. Hinch between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, Heidi, thank you. Waiting up for the Astros. The right fielder, Josh Reddick. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Whoa, and a fastball mm, just misses. It's 1 and 1. Ball and he takes there. ball 2, and it's 2 and 1. Now the 2 1 pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. I got to count two and two. A 
big swing from Reddick as this ball is launched out to deep right field. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo home run here for Josh Reddick. His first homer so far in the series. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be fine, Dero. The hitters on the point, the pitchers field. aren't making Number very good four. pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate, and this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. A couple of walks for him thus far. The 1 0 home. Misses for the second ball. Base is empty here with nobody out. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hit to Turner. It's short. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back, second baseman. Jose Altuve. So one away here with the bases empty and striding in the speedy second baseman Jose Altuve. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely That's coming out of his shoes. Good. Aggressive style. That's first pitch. Hitter. Base hit up the middle. Michael. So stepping in, Michael Brantley. Here's the pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Altuve, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. There goes Altuve. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Now the one and one pitch is taken below the zone for a ball. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Now the two one pitch waves and misses for strike number two. Two, one more time. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Good third pitch there. That was a two. nice job by his battery Alan. mate to complete the plate first, first after the ball hit the dirt. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hard 
hard hit to front. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Astros get a run here courtesy of the solo homer. Through five innings, it's the Nationals five and the Astros one. Ryan Zimmerman now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A ball and a strike. The 1 1. Misses Ball down two. below the knees. Two balls, one strike. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Zimmerman. Hard hit ball to second. Altuve has it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next for the Nationals, the catcher, Jan Gomes. Digging in once again, Jan Gomes. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And Matty, it was a pretty nasty breaking ball that buckled this guy. That has to be in the back of his mind as he walks to the plate right here. Has to protect against looking foolish again on the off speed. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Swung on and missed. One and one. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Fouled off. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. The center fielder, number 16. Victor Stepping into the box, Robles. Victor Robles. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Two out, nobody on. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Hit to first. Guriel scoops it up. Ah, oh, way to get dirty in time. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. Back with more from the big one. Game seven returns after this. Settling in now, Yuli Gurriel. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home six. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here comes the 1-0. Now cool, it's 2-0. The 2-0 on the way. High in the air down the right field line. And foul.
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, that's ball three, and the Astros right now would do anything to get this leadoff hitter on. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Into the box now, number 44, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Guriel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. to two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2 two -two is laid off and the count runs full. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Payoff pitch home, and he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. The batter, number one, shortstop. Carlos. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington Correa. manager, and the hook's coming with him as that'll be all for Max Scherzer. So he winds up going just five-plus innings, but he was mostly effective as he will be in line for the victory should the lead hold up. Wander Suero comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Wander Suero. Carlos Correa will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. First pitch of the at bat at the knees strike one from a hitter's perspective you knock the donut off your bat knowing two things this pitcher is out on the mound looking for a strikeout or a double play so you better set your sights at least belt high. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. None out. Runners at first and second. Oni pops it up. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. The catcher, number 28. Robinson. Girino. Next up for the Strohs, Robinson Chirinos, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's set, here it comes. A fastball off the plate away, it's ball one. One and one to Chirinos. And 
he'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Now Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see. And they end up offering it pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Stepping in is Josh Reddick as he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's one and oh. The one oh is a sinker that dips below the zone for a ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down and away or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Here he comes on 2 and 0. Oh. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 and 1. Shot toward right center. And this is down for extra bases. And with two out, this might get them both home. I guess that's what you call a one-man game. Blasted a home run earlier in the game and gets the double this time around. If he can get a little help from his friends, they could do some serious damage. In now, George Springer, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He was a ground out victim last time up. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Both teams with six hits so far. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. The set and the 2-1. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Center. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a five to four ball game. You know, Dero hitting in the leadoff spot, now you're not going to get very many baseball. opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big two oh, RBI bad. hit. Yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. Yeah, but that's a big two RBI base hit. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball Down ball, and in ball. here, one ball, no strikes. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against a modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. Now the 1-0 misses oh, above the zone there. for a ball. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. 
as a reliever. You can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Two well count, the pitch. Chopper foul. And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. The 3 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he tucks out a walk. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Here's Michael Brantley. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Ready with the 1 0. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And it's not in time. He's safe as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Wow, what a great piece of hitting here. As he took a big swing at that one. Almost got it out of here for a three-run blast, but he'll be happy with a two-run double as well. Yeah, he's not happy either way, but I'm sure the man on the mound is more than a bit relieved that that hit didn't turn into something worse. Into the box, Alex Bregman, as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch changed up on him, and he gets the inside corner for strike two. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. The pause and the 0-2. Way outside. One and two. From the stretch, the one-two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Soto is there. And the inning is over. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. Game seven moves to the seventh inning. It's the Astros six and the Nationals five. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. On to the seventh inning now in game seven. But before we start, we take a look at our game summary to this point. Your Hector Rondon please. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 30, Hector Rondon. Riding in once again, Trey Turner. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. This thing's far the from over, down. even though we're moving Ray. into the back end of this Turner. game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 
And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible tying run is aboard here to start the seventh. The leadoff hitter finds his way on now base. Batting. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Stepping in now, Adam Eaton. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Line toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Now batting, the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. He homered back in the third inning in this one. From the stretch. And there he goes toward second. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag. So let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side. And you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. Now a spin and a throw back to second. But the runner is back easily. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. One Tried one. to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Turner, the runner at second with one away. Two balls and two strikes now. for the punch out and the offering. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Catch made there by Altuve and there are two gone now. Boy, he shows some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Standing in now, Juan Soto. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Ready with the 0-1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit sharply on the ground. Correa ranging up the middle. Oh, short hops him at first, and now two men are aboard. Now that designated hitter. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than having to get extra outs in an inning. That should have been out number three there. Instead, he has to refocus and get back to work. Striding forward now is the D.H. Howie Kendrick as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set and the pitch lays off one and oh. This game is getting interesting real quick. And the last thing you want to do on the mound is fall behind. Needs to get back in the strike zone right here. 
A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Set the 2-2. Two -two. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off-speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. It's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. Now the 2-2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of potential trouble. Nats leave a pair. This one remains close. It's 6-5. to five. Ken Rainey gets Your the call from the please. pen to take over on now, the mound and start the Washington. home seventh. Number 21, Tanner Rainey. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Yuli Gurriel. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. Here comes the 0 1. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the change up to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. 3-2 pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well a foul. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. The 3 2 one more time. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. This is flared out towards second. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. Now batting, number 44. Striding into the box, number 44. He's one for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now. Two 
2 0 count. The pitch. 3 0 now. Rainey, a native of Louisiana, the Bayou State. He's a second year big leaguer. He loses him on ball four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. No batter, he's capable one. of taking deep Good every stop. time he digs in. So Carlo. it's not the worst thing in the world Your to work Rea. around him if you can. At the plate, Carlos Correa. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Runner at first here, one man out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Change up just off the black and it's two and one. The intent with that change up away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate though. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Eaton. And it's good. Carlos Correa with a two-run shot. His second home run of the series as they open up an 8-5 lead. Takes the ball from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Into the box Robinson. now, Robinson Chirinos, you, you as he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. The two two. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. A solo shot here to left. His third home run of this series as they open up a four-run lead. Josh Reddick. 
He swings and grabs it to short. Oh, and he eats him up a bit. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Runner at first following the error. And next to bat will be the outfielder, George Springer. First delivery to him on the way. Now a swing and a fly ball. Eaton sprinting after it, but this will land untouched. Three runs already home here. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Here's the 0-2. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to 1-2. and two. The 1-2. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another 1-2 delivery. Nope. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Popped up. Zimmerman moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting second baseman, Jose Altuve. Coming to the plate now, Jose Altuve. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Count one and oh. Now the 1-0 is taken for ball two. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2-0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. Too tight with that one. 3-0. He is looked at for the first strike. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The three and one pitch. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. The 3-2 pitch. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two now away. That, well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it, it just didn't tempt him enough Quickly. to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Digging in, Michael Brantley. He comes set. Here's the nothing to nothing pitch. Slow grounder to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Astros lead this one nine to five. Chris Davinsky has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 47, Chris Davinsky.
Stepping up now as Dribble Cabrera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken a little under the letters called a strike. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. The one two is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Here now the two two. He stays alive, still two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series. And just like that, it's down to a three-run ball game. Stepping in now, Ryan Zimmerman, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. Comes set, and the 0-1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. No outs, nobody on. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Two two. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Again, he sends it out of play. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Another full count pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now, Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball gone. just ate him up inside gone. and gets the soft grounder for the out. Now batting, Jan Gomes. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. 
And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one, one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Popped up. Bregman has a play. And that's the second out of the inning. The center fielder, number 16, Victor Robles. Roberto Ozuna enters the game in a safe situation, now but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. Roberto. Ozuna. Victor Robles digging in now. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's oh, ball one. That misses. Two and one the count now to the national center fielder. Ball three. Ball three. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Trey Turner, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Here comes the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. On to Altuve for the force out, and the inning is over. But the Nationals draw one back on the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Astros nine and the Nats six. Daniel Hudson to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Next will be the cleanup hitter Alex Bregman. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Third baseman Alex. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hudson has compiled over 600 innings of work in his major league career. Dan Sports and ERA right around the major league average at just over four. The 1 0 home. Drilled down the line. But a foul ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Eaton is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. A look at our line score thus far. Already seven home runs between these two clubs combined. And the ball's really been jumping out of here throughout the contest.
Into the box, Yuli Gurriel. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. One out, nobody on. Pops this one up. Turner shading to his right, two gone. Now batter, number 44. So digging in now, number 44. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. Ball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. The one one home is looked at for ball number two. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Gomes waits on it. And that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They won't add to their nine, six lead. Standing in, Adam Eaton. He's one for four for the, for the game. They look the like they're up the against it here. Down Adam. three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out now of the down. inning. First baseman, Anthony Rendon. Ready for another shot now. Anthony Rendon. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity now in the that, game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour oh, fastball. And he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tough right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. Back up the middle. Altuve for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. And, fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And, Matty, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition.
Nine to six, the final tally in this one. The Houston Astros wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Josh James gets the W on the mound. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, nine runs on ten hits. Two errors, they left nine runners.